Um, oh, this this will this will be a good one. Would you be okay about telling someone that you had cancer on the first day? Because of what I do, I uh, they have to know. I mean, it's inevitable. <laughs> Um, it's just a part of me now, and I mean, I usually have my scar and whatnot showing because I'm not afraid of it, so it's obviously going to come up in conversation. As a test <laughs> for the person I'm dating, to, oh. you know, if someone's freaked out by that, that's not someone I probably want to be with. I'm pretty forthcoming and open about my experiences, so if they can't kind of handle that, you know, on the first date, I'd rather know sooner than later. And I think the phrase, it's a part of me, is good. And you know, I also walk with like a crutch outside and stuff and I don't want to be like, oh, I had an injury and then like sometime later be like, well, it wasn't really an injury. Like, you know, you don't want to start off your relationship like with a lie. It's like a perceived lie. So, yeah. Well, I tattooed Survivor on my arm and it's bound to raise a few questions because it's pretty obvious spot. So it's it's there. It's tattooed on me, so might as well just get it out of the way. It's such a huge part of my life um, and I'm super proud of it. Uh, my answer would be yes as well, absolutely. When I was uh, dating, 100% I'd be straight up front because Thomas and I, we both share a very indicative scar. Even if your shirt jumps up a little bit, you got this scar that goes from here to here. You can't hide that. And I mean, my left arm, my right arm, my tats, like you talk about cancer. So yeah, it's, um, it's, I think it's reflective. We all share this idea of it's part of our identity. It's not who we are, but it makes up a very relevant part of our experience.